what's going on, Warriors? Hey, Professor guys. Joe. Professor Eric over here. How are you guys doing today? What up? So we're going to continue. We did some work for the guard for That's the right. sit-up suite. And I want to talk about Kimura. It's, it's like a the bed on lock or the lower branch, whatever you want to call it, is like a pretty simple hold. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know the way that I was taught it originally was completely like incorrect. And it's like a lot of those moves, like even armbar, Americana, we touched yeah. on that a little bit. You start to have a belief that these are low percentage moves. You're like, oh, I never get this. So everybody knows it. It must not be that worthwhile. But usually what we come to find out is it's just a few key details change everything, change everything. Mm -hmm. night and day difference on Absolutely. hitting this success in this. So uh, let's just get right to it. We'll make this a little quicker today. I'm sure. afraid. Sorry. So I got Coach Eric here in my guard, and I'll even go left handed. So let's just say we got some kind of situation where he starts to back up and I come up to do the bump sweep that we did yesterday. But now he's gonna to start to push forward with his shoulder and I can't continue to sweep. So we know we can try to go for like a guillotine or something like that. What most people do, and I'm gonna do a bad one first, is this hand that's posting on the ground, I've seen, this is how I learned it anyway, is to shoot the hand yeah. and try to grab. But look at how Professor Eric is laying on me. Yeah, even if right now he's doing an educated counter, even if he just sits here, there's no way I can bring his hand behind his back with him barely fighting it at all. So what's really gonna do the lock is your hips. So when he starts to back up, I go for the bump sweep, I dip my knee, he starts to come forward. What I'm gonna use is this hand and this leg to hip out. So you can even see that my hip starts to move his hand into position. I don't even think about shoving the hand. All I wanna do is just bring my leg yep. over the shoulder. And now I can lock my feet. Often, I don't even interlace like this. Do you do that? Nope, not very often. Because sometimes when you're lifting it, that's when the guy's gonna be able to get a hold of something. Yeah. I just touch the elbow and I start to drive my hips, and that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Nice. If you still want to make it classic and do like a figure four arm lock, you can, but it's completely unnecessary. Plus, a lot of times what happens, if he's going to be able to counter this at all, what's he going to do is he's going to stretch it out because yeah. he can't go the other way. So if I have a figure four lock here, I have to release it. But if I'm just pressing, when he straightens his arm out, I let one go, I come underneath. Now I bring my knee above the shoulder and pinch here. That's it. Yeah. That's a cool move. Yeah. I was actually thinking a lot about that the other day because you can even think about it as like, I mean, if I get you here real quick here, let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. Let's see, let's see this way because it's so interesting. Because I have something I was thinking about with it more. Is even like, let's just say I get here, even hand placement plays like a pivotal role. If I'm below, if I'm below, I mean above the elbow joint, it's really easy for him to hug me or to hide this. But see, like if I can put this on the forearm, look at how easy it is for me to isolate here. Because you see, I mean, it takes away any of that grabbing motion that you can do whatsoever. If I'm below, oh, yeah. you know, I was actually thinking about this just like more like with the the weapon defense idea of how I could really yeah. isolate. Well, I'm still gonna do the same thing too. Yeah, yeah. see, you're right there. It's a good good idea too, and it's like. And so that's a lot of it is anytime I feel him, this is what like Pedro was talking about. Anytime I feel him going forward right here, this, I need to trap that leg. Because I can't allow him just to jump over to get him out. You guys see what I mean, guys? So if I feel his body go forward, I have to make a little hook right here, too. And so this is just all these things that like Pedro was talking about here. So when I come here like this and I start moving him, this is also pivotal here, too. I'm, where I wrap my legs. If I wrap the, the top one right here, like this, if I can back one step, if the top one right here, it's hard to see if my, my bottom, no, the top one here is over top of that right one, he can push that knee down right here every single time. If the left, the right one is above, now he pushes that knee down, and it's very, 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 very tough. So anytime we get here, I wanna have my right foot or my bottom foot above yeah and that then now there's it's very very tough to get out of that situation very tough and i can even do a knee as long as i get the right hand yep absolutely if i'm square my feet don't quite reach yeah but i almost 
I almost want the guy to come forward. Yeah. Because yeah. like that pressure, to me anyway, yeah. it helps oh, me for move sure. my hips. For sure, 100%. It's like the guy's charging, that's exactly what I'm gonna yeah. shift out. Yeah. And I'd rather go for this lock personally than the guillotine. For I sure. Feel, I feel like you have more counters on the guillotine. Yeah, and when a guy's good at countering, it's- Yeah, well then what am I gonna do if the guillotine fails? Yeah, yeah. Notice I'm using both. And it's crazy, man, because like, because I, 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 I've asked, like, I've asked multiple times with people. I've, I've told you about that where, like, I think I've asked like Pedro, Fabio Santos, and somebody else, I can't remember, but I was like, well, what happens if you're the guillotine and someone counters it correctly? And they're like, well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard. The guillotine is tough when someone knows what they're doing, man. It's not easy. But yeah, I, I, I like the Kamor better too, man, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So find those moves, because even, uh, even the arm lock at the finish is about moving your hips. Yeah, for right? sure. Like I'm just gonna keep finding that angle to put pressure on the arm. Yeah, for sure, man, 100%. Let's do it one more time from the front. Go ahead, bro. Let's go. Come here. And obviously we're not really training with like a setup or anything. He's just putting his hand like low for me to kind of simulate this kind of look here. So I go in and now as he pushes forward, I hip over. That's it. Now I just connect, that's it. And then it's very easy for me. I can see, I can have my feet in any position yep. this way. So now because my right toe is under, he can't push down my knee. I, to me, that feels just natural, that natural Yeah, yeah. So then I like to go out here. Yep. So see my hips, I'm almost in a straight line. And then if, if the mid rush, he goes here, I want to connect, go above the elbow. And I think about pointing my knee at the floor. You can unlock these if you want. I want to control this shoulder mm -hmm. and go here. So if, if I lose this lock, I'll try to be gentle. My knee is on his shoulder and my foot is on his hip. So let's say, let's say Eric tries to come towards me. He can't really break my structure because of this here, this way. Some people will dig the toes into the hip like this, but if it's just over his back and he gets free, yeah, now when he comes up, it's, you're yeah. back to struggling again. This way. So it'll feel weird probably the first time that you do it. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're used to just launching for that wrist. Yeah. But that's a total athletic move. And think about what you're doing to your body. You're you're twisting your upper toes torso pretty violently. Yeah. Which is risking injury to you, let alone you giving the other person an easy out to stop. Yeah, but if they bring, bring that in, they like they got you. They they can come more of you. If you if you let me get that arm inside and you're not doing this right, I can come more of you if I pass your guard. Yeah. Just with that lock. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Alright, bonus move of the day. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if uh, you know, I hadn't seen this for till a few years ago. Yeah. I can't remember, Evil or Pedro or somebody did. Yeah, so if, yeah, so like if I do a poor job and I'm up here, if I can get this. If he re grabs, okay, freeze. Sorry. It's already tightening up. I cannot pull my right hand out. And all he's got to do is grab his lapel. So I just go over. And I like to, because I think he can, I'll be gentle, because he can still circle if I come here. Yeah. So I've got to get a hold of him here. Right there. That's it. Yeah, it's a, if anytime that's inside, you're in trouble. So if you're not putting that, like, get your hips away, this is really, really easy. And I was just, I was actually thinking about the hand placement because, of, like, the weapons defense. Yeah, we, same. You want to, you don't want to have like a an hinge. arm, a hinge, exactly a hinge. So like, the more I'm down here, yeah, there's no hinge to deal with, and this, that, this isn't going to happen as much. Yeah, I was thinking because like connecting the dots. Yeah, man, it's all the same stuff. Pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good stuff, guys. Yeah, I think it's just like those little details. That's what makes basic jujitsu, old school jujitsu, really powerful. Yep. It's mm -hmm. uh, usually you're close to it, right? Like, oh, I know how to do a sit up, a bump sweep. I know how to do a bell lock. Everybody has it, but I don't see everybody reproducing the same level of detail. Not even. And, and usually those are the people that are yeah. like, ah, this one's pretty good, doesn't work too often. Yeah. But it's like, I remember training for 10 years and thinking the Americana didn't work. That Me everybody just knows the counter, yeah. you can't surprise them with it, it's just an old Maybe move. Maybe a white belt, a blue belt will fall for him. Yeah, guy yeah, how are you going to yeah. get it on a black belt? Yeah. And then I met Helson Gracie, and he's like, oh no, you do this, you do that. Three right. little things, man. And all of a sudden, you can catch anybody. And I still use that move today. Mm -hmm. 
Me too, man. Me I mean, too. I definitely go for it on anybody. Yeah. Oh, it's it's tough, man. It's it's tough that when you really got the ideas, now it's tough. Man. To know. Right on. All right, you guys. If you have any questions? Let us know. Thanks for watching, River City Warriors. It was crazy to do this week. We'll catch Warriors you next out. time. Words out, guys.